and go out and check this out. I snagged <laughs> one of the little shiners that they're feeding on. And uh, <laughs> what do you think of that profile-wise? I'd say that's pretty close, man. <laughs> it's a pretty good match, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's unreal. Unreal the color patterns that Rapala puts on their baits. I mean, it's they're so lifelike. I mean, that thing to that thing. I mean, give me a break. Unreal. No wonder why they're inhaling it. There he is. That was him right there. You might get it. There's a little patch of them here, Daniel. Yeah. Oh, he's on him. Oh, oh, got he's a good one. Five good. of them. Nice. Good Look at that. Got, got a good Look one. Look at that. Hey, watch this. You got watch, yours? This, watch this. My bait come in here. Look at that. Look at. Is he on it? Oh, they, yeah. They swirled around. They just flipped out here. <laughs> come here, baby. Oop, he's on it again. Is he on it? Yeah, there he goes. You got now. yours? Double up. I love it. Uh, yeah, you I have love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these fish are incredibly uh, adaptable. You find them all over the country. They're in lakes, they're in rivers, they're in, they're in reservoirs, they're in clear water, uh, they're in dirty water. They adapt really, really well. In fact, the best and biggest white bass fishing I've ever experienced myself was in Canada. <laughs> I know a lot of you are saying, in Canada, if you don't live up there, you think, white bass in Canada off of Lake Winnipeg. I mean, three and four pounders. I mean, just giants, absolute giants. And in North Dakota, Devil's Lake has got them. You know, it's a really big fish. So I mean, some tremendously great white bass fishing way, way, way up in the northern part of the continent. There's such a, a, a school fish or pack fish, you know what I mean? You'll see one, you'll see like three yeah, or four no, they, of them come they up like behind the school. them. They like to eat. Yeah. You know, like those, like those smallmouth that you see, you know, in the Midsummer, when you get those fish coming up, and you have know, two or three of them underneath it, trying to rip yeah. the bait out of its mouth. It's just so much fun. You, you don't have enough arms or rods in the boat to fish for them. You know, you want to catch them all. Oh, oh, oh there he is. Yep. Way up on top, Al. Yep. You may want to go. Him. I see him. Yep. Bob. You see him busting up there. Yeah. There's enough. Al, there's three of them on my bait. Okay, I got it. There's I got three it. of them. Look at them. Four of them. Four of them. Four of them. Let me get. Look at them. Oh, yeah. They just ran to the no, right. Hang on. I'll get look. it. Oh, look at it, they're still on it. Oh, we got it. Oh, oh, get out it. there. Get it. I'll leave it in the water. Oh, look at this. Got him. Got that him. one came right here. That one, look at that. That one hit just when I was going to pull it out. She was still holding them. Oh, look at that. Huh? They are fu oh, fun, man. Oh, I love catching these. They're a nice diversion. I guess I wouldn't call them a diversion. Look at that. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at them fins. They're mean machines, boy. They are mean machines. And this post-spawn bite, they're up here just on the chew.